It's a pivotal four days ahead for Southampton, starting here in South Wales. Just four matches left for Saints and just five points adrift of the automatic promotion places. First up, Cardiff City. Crucial that we concentrate Dominic Kyle Walker Peters in the middle there, and he's laying it off here to Stuart Armstrong, and Armstrong's hit the outside of the post. Oh, what a chance for Saints, wasn't it? it was, I don't know whether the, the goalkeeper got an actual hand to it. No, the goalkeeper's nowhere near it. It was on its way in the goal, wasn't it? The feature of their play against Preston, particularly in the second half, was keeping possession in the opposition half. And here's Adam Armstrong cleverly round his marker and goes a goal, palmed away, shot by Arebo! Deadlock broken at the Cardiff City Stadium and Joe Rebo, the Nigerian is the right man in the right place to get Southampton in front and a priceless goal that might be. It's Southampton 1, Cardiff City 0. Stuart Armstrong laying the ball off to Adam Armstrong and he cut inside, did so well and in his shot, goalkeeper saves it, it drops out nicely but it's still got to be put in the back of the net. It's not an easy one to deal with for Joe Rebo and he's dispatched it perfectly to give Saints the lead and now through the middle is Joe Rebo again and it might fall for Shea Adams oh what a chance that was and then uh, Adam Armstrong with a diving header over the bar that was a gilt-edged opportunity for Southampton's informed striker but he was denied by Ethan Horvath you've got to say my gut feel as soon as it dropped for Shea Adams I think it was Stuart Armstrong that played the ball for Joe Rebo there's a little touch the ball drops for Shea Adams he's only got the goalkeeper to beat and you've got to say in the the, the way he's been scoring recently, he's got to put that one away. And Siopis. Uh, excellent diagonal ball to Oli Taller once more. And that's a good ball to David Turnbull. And oh, might he have done a bit better with that? I've just seen a replay of the ball into the box and huge amount of time and space. In it. We've got three Southampton players marking one at the near post. Ryan Manning who has Kean Ashford for close attendance. The office was a silly back heel, really, because it's given possession straight back to Ryan Manning, and a deflected shot over the bar was from Rebo. It took a touch off a defender. Yeah, and you can see from Joe's reaction how close he felt it actually came. Joe Rebo, who was a title winner with Rangers and a Europa League finalist, played under... Oh, was a, a chance here for Adam Armstrong out of nothing. That was just out of the blue straight pass wouldn't it not a good one at all and uh, the ball dropping to Adam there and just dropping away from him on the angle a little bit which made it a little bit harder and on his left foot Colwell tall gangly athletic player has found Turnbull and Turnbull threatens to cross and now will do so on his left foot and a brave header away by Taylor Howard Bellis clever play though and a fine effort coming in from Oli Tanner, who's seeing plenty of the ball for Cardiff City, but it was a routine save for Alex McCarthy. As Russell Martin was saying, if we don't win against Cardiff, the other three games don't matter in the race for automatic promotion. And here, Kian Ashwood doing well to get away from Bednarek, and he'll play it across as a fine stop by Alex McCarthy, as Mete was threatening to put Cardiff City level. Big save, huge save from Alex McCarthy got a big right arm right hand on it I think there's a hunger and an energy about Cardiff City as you say albeit being behind that doesn't seem to have dented their confidence whatsoever so far here's Stuart Armstrong neat series of passes and Stuart Armstrong to the byline will win the corner kick patient play from Saints it's good to see no one really looking looking to force the pass just being slow methodical waiting for an opportunity to open up Will Smallbone into the side in place of Flynn Downs to swing this into the Cardiff City penalty area. Instead he goes shorter and the shot comes in, it's a save and somehow and very fortuitously it rebounds into the path of the Cardiff City player who clears away. What a well-worked corner that was. Most of the players, Southampton players at the far post, Adam Armstrong on the near post but David Brooks just pulling off for that ball cut back. And it's a good save. With the dominance that we have in some games, we've got to put teams to the sword when these chances come along. Lovely slick play by David Brooks to get away from Tanner. And he'll try and tee it up here for Stuart Armstrong. And now his namesake, Adam Armstrong, just got too much underneath it. Wonderful piece of play, wasn't it? And 
interesting to see David Brooks at the centre of that. He was key to two of our goals in midweek and he did it again there, driving inside. But Adam Armstrong's effort, a couple of the strikers at the moment, Shea Adams and Adam Armstrong, just haven't got their shooting boots on. And good work here by Southampton, Stuart Armstrong, feeding it through to Shea Adams! Well, he claims it hit a Cardiff defender, but once more it's a clear opening for Southampton's goal-getter, and he's put it wide of the target. Well, I'd love to see a replay again because it seems to have gone that far wide. You can't think of anything else but it being a deflection or a tackle from the, the defender. But I think it was just the it, physical it, presence, wasn't it, of Gutas, perhaps? Yeah, I mean, he was, he was close to him, and Shea's obviously tried to you know, wrap his foot around it, but he's, he's got it horribly wrong. But they're racking up these half chances, and more than half chances at that, Franny. No, there's some very good ones in there, and the ones that we should probably, at least, at the very least, be making the goalkeeper work. You know, make the keeper make a save. More often than not, he might not. That was a lovely pass on the turn from Shea Adams to try and release David Brooks. That's a difficult ball to control, and Adam Armstrong's can't get it. But David Brooks, surely! No, he's tripped, is he? No, it's a goal kick, and Southampton made a real meal of that. It looked as though a second goal was on the plate and David Brooks couldn't convert and as he was appealing for a penalty, the referee, Oliver Langford, says goal kick. I can't believe we haven't scored. We've been talking about those chances. I mean, it's not a good touch. It's not a good ball back from Cardiff City's perspective. But you think as soon as David Brooks picks the ball up, he's done the hard part, taking the ball past him initially, but then just seems to dwell on it a little bit too long. Well, to his credit, I suppose... Ethan Horvath did get back to deny David Brooks, but it was more than a guilt-edged opportunity once again. David Brooks, who was arguably putting on his best performance in a Southampton shirt against Preston in midweek, and he's playing an excellent ball forward here to Stuart Armstrong, and onside this time is Shea Adams, and he's dragged his shot wide of the target. Brilliant play from Saints. David Brooks just on that, picking that pass out. What a ball that is into Stuart Armstrong. Wonderful first-time layoff. Shea Adams pulls that shot wide in the post, doesn't he? Difficult chance, though, from there to beat the goalkeeper. Here is Joe Rebo once more. With that left foot, and he lofts a ball into the path of Shea Adams. Got time to look up and volley a ball across. That's a brilliant save from Horvath. And diving in was Adam Armstrong at full stretch. And it looked for all the world as if he was going to convert his 21st goal of the season. It was a brilliant Southampton move. I agree with you, Lodge. What a wonderful bit of play from Saints. Fantastic ball drilled in by Shea Adams. And you think it's too hard and pacey to dive and head it the way Adam Armstrong did, but a brilliant save. Southampton are piling forward here with David Brooks, who moves infield. And once more, Adam Armstrong is in acres of space. And the Southampton captain will tee it back to Smallbone. And once more, it's off target. Adam Armstrong doesn't get the chance to get the shot away, but he sets up Smallbone and it goes down again as another chance. And they're keeping possession well, a bullet side here. And here is Conti, the substitute at pace, going to the byline. He laid it across, the shot is in. It's a goal for Cardiff City. And against the odds, they've equalised. Southampton have paid a huge price here for their profligacy in front of goal. They've missed a flurry of chances, and now Cardiff City have equalised. They're not able to stop that delivery in, then all of a sudden, as soon as there's that little scuff, James Bree is not able to get anywhere near. It's the substitute, Famarez Yizhu, who's only been on the pitch for five minutes or so. It was set up by Mate scuff shot, and Yizhu, the former Bristol City player, got onto the end of it. And... Here's the Cardiff captain, Joe Rolls, and their confidence is high at the moment. And it's Jiju once more, with Bednarek behind him. He'll lay it back to Mete, who's trying to fashion across. And Mete goes to goal, and it wasn't far away, and it bounced on top of the net as Alex McCarthy, did he get a touch on it? Well, the officials certainly felt that, that and the corner's been awarded, and as soon as it left his boot, you thought, this is dangerous. And it's one of those ones that can easily catch out a goalkeeper, and Alex McCarthy did so well. We're moving into added on time now. Nine minutes of added on time to be played. And uh, there's ooze of disappointment from the home supporters here, but it's a big nine minutes for Southampton to try and find a second goal. And Colville is getting away from Jan Bednarek, who will be booked here by Oliver Langford. Yeah, quite a clear booking 
no argument with that, I don't think. The Cardiff City captain, Joe Rolls, who signed a new deal in March for his club. And he'll lift this in towards the heart of the Southampton penalty area. It's a good delivery as well, it's headed goals, it's fumbled by Alex McCarthy, and Southampton get lucky. Well, a chance, a good chance for Cardiff City. And Alex McCarthy makes the save, and I think... And it, I think it was Taylor Howard Bellis. I did it? a discredit to Alex McCarthy. It wasn't a fumble, it was a, a, a decent stop. Here come Cardiff City once more with their tails up, and Kean Ashford will collect the ball and move forward. And Kean Ashford comes infield, and the teenager will look up and go for a goal. It's deflected, and Cardiff City have scored a dramatic goal. And they have broken Southampton's hearts, and with it, have they destroyed any last lingering hope of automatic promotion back to the Premier League? It is Cardiff City 2, Southampton 1. Well, well I'm, I'm almost lost for words, Lars. I mean, the, the disappointment of not obviously winning this game, certainly at this moment, it doesn't look like it. And then a, a deflection to give them the winner. I mean, you've got to give Cardiff City credit. I mean, they've, they've fought, they've battled, they've stuck in the game and they've looked more dangerous at times. The, the limited chance they have had, they look hungry and more dangerous in certain situations. And perhaps you would say those missed chances are plenty for, Cardiff, uh, for Southampton have cost them dear and possibly cost them the chance of automatic promotion. But wait a moment, here's Shea Adams crossing and Stuart Armstrong goes the goal. What a block that was by Gutas this time as Stuart Armstrong's shot looked to be goal bound. And this and time there's an injury to Stuart Armstrong. Stuart Armstrong and it worryingly he's gone down in a way that that looks like it could be a bad one. I don't know if he's pulled a muscle or he's tweaked his knee. He appears to have done something. It's always hard in these circumstances, Lars, isn't it, when you see one of your players being stretched off like that. And Southampton are running out of rope. And it looks as though they're number up. And all of a sudden, they are looking at the playoffs. It is a devastating blow for Southampton. Saints' automatic promotion dreams are in tatters after Cardiff City came from behind to snatch a late win, as they did against Ipswich Town a few weeks ago.